Aditya, I got a problem. I'm dying, bro. What? What do you mean? Your life? You're you're smiling I'm and happy. I'm almost dead, bro. Because what I've been working for for all these years is dying or is dead. Burr is dead. What the heck are you talking? You know exactly what I'm talking about, man. Burr is dead. I can't buy anymore until recently the prices were too high yep. right if i talk about my renovation costs everything has gone up prices have gone up inflation is going killing me right if i talk about renting the place i'm buying these places with people in it they don't want to move out anymore no cash for keys is not working anymore mm. and don't even talk about refi bro <laughs> interest rates have gone up banks don't want to give the money out anymore yeah, Burr yeah. is dead. But the question is like, you know, now with the strategy changing, right? Like because the last three, four months has been crazy with all these interest rate hikes, the prices going down and the, you know, the demand of the labor and the material has gone up so drastically. So refining is yeah, getting almost impossible exactly. as well. Even for ADU and DADU, we were not able to pull complete money out and the cash flow projections are going down. Correct. So what can we do? Tell us, you're keeping us in the suspense. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it to them. Let's give it to them, right? So the strategy we've been employing right now for the last couple of months is looking at commercial buildings and not commercial in the sense of we want to keep retail stores because that's yeah. not something yeah. that we want to do in Windsor or I don't know, anywhere, I would say, right? Unless you're in Toronto downtown yeah, or yeah. even that is probably vacant these days. But taking these commercial buildings, old commercial buildings and converting them into residential. Yep. Right? That's the strategy we employ. Why? Because, you know, look, that's what I'm doing with this property that, you know, you're helping me with on this. Biggest thing is we want to force the appreciation, but not just this much. We want this much so that, you know, no matter how much the interest rates go up, no matter how the rent controls, we still will be cash flowing. We still will be able to take our money out. I think that's, that's the key point, right? Because at the end of the day, residential housing is required everywhere. Yeah. We know that. Right? We don't want to keep these commercial buildings as commercial. We want to get them into residential uh, people to live in those homes, yep. uh, make them homes because that's a shortage. So we're still in the same sphere, but we're doing it in a different way. And I think that's important. Aditya, can you and I do this? That's yeah. the question. Honestly, like even before I bought my property, right? Like I was talking to you, can we really do this project? Because I was not confident because it sounded so capital intensive, so time intensive, need a lot of resources, like, you know, knowing the city knowing the bylaw, bylaws and all those things. I agree. It's not for everyone. Definitely yeah. not for everyone. You have to be a seasoned investor. I don't yeah. Not even seasoned, you have to have some experience. Yeah, right? decent and all. If you're in your first investment property, probably not for you, right? You How have, about I don't have money? Probably not for you because, mm -hmm. you know, we're talking about not only from a investment point of view, capital injection point of view, but it's even time, right? Yeah. So these projects are usually taking somewhere between 12, 18, maybe 24 months, yeah. right? So you have to be cash rich maybe, you know, to say that, okay, I'm going to hold this building and hold it yeah. with all the costs involved while I'm doing this project. There's technicalities, of course. Yeah, right? exactly. And you know, it's not easy because first of all, like the sounding itself is like so much resources needed, so much money needed. Everything is like high level of stress to keep it in simple. And I was going through that. Yeah. If without your help, like, you know, I would not been taking this kind of projects. So like going forward, like for someone who is interested to learn this kind of projects, what yeah. can we do for them? I think we got to teach them. <laughs> That's what we got to do. We got to put on an event and teach you guys to look for these kind of buildings and make sure that you know your numbers and how to follow the process step by step. Because if we can do it, yeah. you can do it too. Yeah. Right? And you know, I made a reel recently on my Instagram saying, you know, I want to do a boot camp for showing this project live in person. And we're going to give all the details that you needed to do I this. I love it. Yeah. So, and you know what, how many people were interested? And I'm pretty sure someone watching this would be interested. How can they come and join us? Yeah, so I think let's do it. Let's yeah. put a boot camp out, a knowledge sharing session, knowledge you know, yeah. on, one of these days, on one of these days yeah. where we can teach you. First of all, you can visit Windsor. You can yeah. hang out with these two cool yeah. guys, right? <laughs> Network and with other high net worth individuals as well. So yeah. it'll be a networking event as well. I yeah. think we got to keep it small. We can't keep it big. Yeah, probably right? like 20 people. I, yeah, you know, 20 people is good because yeah. it's, not every, it's not for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Because of all the reasons we said. And, and of course, you know, we are planning the limo tour, the oh, dinner yeah. on the riverside. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some, oh, yeah. You know, we surprises. like to party. Yeah, yeah. That's going to happen too, right? So it's going to be a lot of fun <laughs> as well. 
We're yeah. going to show you a little bit about Windsor that a lot of people haven't seen. Yeah, right? yeah. So click the link below, mark the date in your calendar. If you're interested, fill up the form and let's have a discussion. Yeah, so the link in the description will give you all the details. And of course, you know, we love to help you to grow. And like Sab mentioned, this is not for everyone. If you're a newbie, check out other videos, how to get your first property, how to save up money, all those things. Check out the other videos. But if you're someone who already have some money, already own some rental properties and you're making decent living income, 100, 200, 300,000, then click the link and cannot wait to see you in person. Absolutely. <laughs> awesome, man. So cannot wait to learn, teach you on the accelerated cash flow Burr strategy with you guys. So Sav, you have some name for this Burr strategy. What is it? <laughs> do I? Oh yeah. Oh, you don't? Okay. Office to homes. <laughs> office office to, to homes. That's what we're doing. We're changing offices to homes. To homes. Right? And I call it a Burr strategy that has taken Tim Morton's coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So cannot wait to see you guys.